Hi friends, this is Ms. Shalini and welcome to Storytime. We are going to continue reading our book, More Tales of Birbal. And do you remember meeting our friends Kissa and Kahani last time? So come, let's check out and see what they have been up to. Namaste everyone. Namaste everyone. You know, Kissa, I have been so excited because I have been wanting to listen to the story of Akbar and Birbal. Yes, Kahani, I have been waiting too. But you need to calm down so we can listen to the story, okay? On the outskirts of Agra lived a potter and a washerman. Do you see in the picture the potter is making pots and the washerman's donkey enters his house and he starts breaking the pots that he was making. All my day's labor wasted, the washerman shouted. Get out of here, you stupid beast! Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Now the washerman comes out and he says, Hey, stop it! That's my donkey! So what? It has broken my best pots! Is that all? I'll pay for the broken pots. Here's your money. Now the other neighbors are watching and one of them says, Now there's a fair neighbor for you. A true gentleman if I have seen one. Now the potter is not happy. He says, So he was out to belittle me before everyone. Hmm. I'll get even with this fellow. The next morning, the potter goes to Akbar's court. Jahapana, a friend of mine, has just returned from Persia. He says you are famous in that land. He said the people there hold you in high esteem. However, what is it, my man? says the king. The people of Persia seem to think poorly of the royal elephants of Agra. Our elephants, says Akbar. Yes, they say they are too grey and dirty. They say that's not how royal elephants should be. Hmm, thinks Akbar. The king of Persia maintains a stable full of sparkling white elephants. Oh, yes. This man is up to something, thinks the king. Well, how does he manage to keep them so well laundered? Ah, uh, the answer is in your question, Jahapana. He has a team of brilliant launders. Well, that could easily be arranged. I'll send for the best washerman in town. Our elephants too must look white. Just a minute, Jahapana. I have a neighbor who is by far the best washerman in town. Hmm, so he is out to corner his neighbor. I'll send for him at once, said the king. A little while later, the washerman is brought to the court. And the king says, And the elephants should be white within a week. Yes, Jahapana, the washerman says. And the washerman begins with the first elephant. However, even after he sloggered away at the task, the whole day long, the elephant remained as grey as ever. The downcast washman retracted his steps homewards. I'm sure this is the potter's doing. And when he's going home, he sees Birbal, yes. Now Birbal asks the washman, What is wrong, my good man? What were you brooding over? Ah, oh, 
of Sarkar. You have come as a godsend. Then he told Birbal all that had happened. Birbal says, There is a simple solution to this problem. Listen. And he tells him something in his ear. The next morning, Isn't it the same elephant you were working on yesterday? Why it hasn't turned even a shade whiter? I have a problem, Jahapana, says the washerman. If I had a vessel large enough to hold the elephant, I could work more efficiently. Right, we'll order a huge pot, says the king. I'm glad this man is getting even. The potter was summoned and the order was placed. One week later, the potter brings the pot and thinks to himself, Ha! So the washerman thought he could outwit me. The pot, Jahapana, let the elephant enter the pot, says the king. This is going to be fun, the king thinks to himself. Now the elephant is brought, he's put in the pot. What kind of pot have you made? Make me a new one and make sure it is stronger now. But, but, get to work at once, says the king. It was only then that the potter broke down and confessed. I suspected that he was out to corner you. But what impressed me was your method of retaliating. You deserve a reward for that. The king says to the washerman. The washerman says, No, Jahapana, I don't. It was Birbal who gave me the idea. I had guessed that too. In fact, I was sure of it. You are not only a jewel of my court, Birbal, but also a true guardian of the innocent. The end. Wasn't that fun reading that story with Kissa and Kahani? If you enjoyed reading with me, remember to like, remember to subscribe and remember to share. So see you next time with more stories. Until then, bye.